A member of the Bunkrugu Nakpanduri District Assembly in the Northeast region is calling for police investigations into the looting of medical equipment and materials from a specialized health facility built in the district capital to tackle maternal and child deaths in the area. The Assemblyman for Bunkrugu South, Naja Daniel, has specifically demanded the police interrogate a former district chief executive, Sampo Timothy Lari, who was in office in 2014 when the incident occurred. According to him, the police should also conduct a house-to-house -house search in the Bunkrugu township for the missing equip equipment. The facility, which never served its purpose, was constructed six years ago by the Japanese embassy through its international cooperation agency, JICA. As part of collaborative efforts in response to rising cases of maternal and child mortality in the district, the facility was immediately shut down a few days after an inaugural and handing over ceremony attended by top representatives of the Japanese envoy. It followed the mass stealing of equipment, including beds, mattresses, fridges from the facility by suspected members uh, in the neighborhood. The facility has since been left to rot. Take a look. Um, Niger Daniel. I'm the assemblyman for Bunkrugu Central. Okay, this building was built by Japan Embassy for a maternity ward. They sponsored, after finishing it, they came and then handed over to the district assembly. And then the, the nurses came here and worked for only four days and then left back to the old uh, uh, hospital. They were there and then they, they left, they banded the facility and finally what we heard that people are stealing things here and then we came and find out they, they've stolen a lot of things. They've stolen bears, uh, louvers, mattresses, fans and other things. And then the whole place was abandoned. Yeah. Uh, why I'm, I said I'm worried is this. Uh, when a, a pregnant woman wants to deliver, and then if they cannot, uh, if they cannot take care of her in the clinic here, we have to uh, uh, get a motor king, move here to a uh, Bindi hospital which will take us some time and then the woman will suffer it a lot. <laughs> okay, my effort is this. We are, we are yet talking to the uh, district assembly. They should look forward and then we'll see how we can assist our lady, uh, 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 our woman to, to deliver, to be delivered in, 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 in town. Mm. To investigate properly to bring those people into book. Would you contribute to contribute? I have, uh, uh, I want, I want us to, uh, to be moving house to house and then get some informations. And we know some people who have taken this inside their rooms and then they are sleeping on them. <laughs> So let's get on the phone to interrogate this matter a bit uh, longer. I have Awuni Mbabila. He's the Bunkrugu Nakwanduri Health Director. Uh, Mr. Mbabila, thank you for your time this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. So what can you, what is your own story about the missing equipment from this hospital that's supposed to serve the community? Uh, please speak louder. Yes. Um, uh, in fact, it is not only the missing equipment. Okay. But uh, good evening to your listeners and uh, and then uh, all your cherished staff too. Um, actually, I took over. Hello. Yes, please go ahead. We're listening. I took over the administration of the district sometime October or so, 2018. And then uh, when I took over, my attention was brought to the the labor. Uh, the maternity block that was constructed by uh, JICA. And um, 
I actually visited there with my team to do an assessment to see what can be done. After an assessment, I met with district assembly to find out what what assembly could have done about the whole thing. Mm. And then even JICA also called me. They sent me a mail uh, to that effect and what I can do. And um, for me, as a, a health director, what we can do is that when the structure is provided, we can provide the technical, the human resource, and then all the services that um, the people of Bumprugu would have needed. Mm. So you but took over we in 2000. There, we realized that mm -hmm. all the equipment, all the equipment which I am told JICA provided uh, through the contractor and the district assembly. Uh, or so. Uh, all the equipment uh, have been taken away. Um, and then uh, when I actually met with that, uh, the district assembly, I also went, we went and met with the paramount chief of the Bumpurugu traditional area. And then he also told uh, us that um, when he saw that they were taking the items, he also went and took the few equipment that were left. Okay, so hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir, for me. Um, le right. Let me just understand the story. You say that you took over in 2018. In 2018, you went there and realized mm -hmm. that the, the facility did not have the equipment and the supplies. Yes, so, as of 2008, when I mm -hmm. got there, everything has been vandalized. Everything has, has, been, stolen. has been taken. And you say that it you went there and spoke to someone who saw people taking the things, correct? Is it? You said you went back there and spoke to somebody who saw the people taking the things. Who is this person? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not saying I saw somebody picking the things. I said I went there to do my own assessment, and I realized that nothing was there. I met with the, the, the district assembly to discuss what can be done. And then from there, I met, I went with my team. We met the paramount chief of Bumprugu traditional area, mm -hmm. who told me that when the, he, he visited the place and realized that people were stealing the items, Okay. So the rest of the item left, he went and collected them and kept them under his custody. Okay. So the things are under lock in his house. Right. Did, I get in it. So he, he told you that he saw people taking the things, so he went in no, to take... No, he didn't tell me he saw the people, he saw people picking the things. He went there and people were stealing it. Okay. And he didn't meet any... Are you getting me? Right, I'm okay. not saying he met... Somebody, he didn't see anybody stealing, but okay. he realized that the doors were being opening and a whole lot of so uh, he realized that if he has so to So he decided to things, take them take to bit. protect the rest of the things? Yes. Okay, okay. And so I'm just wondering, uh, in 2018 when you took over and found that the things have been stolen, and the chief actually confirmed to you that the things have been stolen, did, a report, yes. did you make a report with the police for an investigation to begin? <clears throat> Oh, the thing has been well uh, stolen. The construction uh, was done sometime 2014, and then completion around probably 2016, 17, thereabout. When I took over, everything had been stolen. So when I went there and did my assessment, even JICA, we met with JICA with this assembly. And then my original director also requested a, a detailed report from me about um, the state of the structure, which I provided. I wrote a, a, a detailed report to my regional director and then all that. Then invariably, I even met with the regional minister in his office. He summoned um, the district chief executive and then myself okay. uh, at uh, the regional coordinating council for some discussion mm. as to how the, thing, the project can be brought back to book so because we have met JICA and JICA was threat, uh, threatening to blacklist Bumprugu from any the uh, type of donor funding mm. was whatever in the district. Mm. And then so the discussion was to see how the place can be brought back to book so that if we need some, the district needs some form of support from JICA or its other agencies, they could access. And that will, this could affect the community a lot because if government, oh, yes. if exactly. government, in, uh, government interventions can't reach them, these are private individuals who are putting in their best and they say they're going to blacklist you, which means none of the uh, uh, interventions they have will come to Bumprugu. What, exactly. what, what, yeah, what's right. your assessment finally of how quickly the facility can be brought back to work? My assessment, you know, with uh, me as, as, a, as a technocrat, Mm -hmm. um, the assembly, in collaboration with the regional coordinating council, 
because the the the, the thing the the guy the JICA and then assembly gave the thing to a, a contractor. Hmm. A contractor uh, uh, finished and then uh, handed over to assembly. I don't know much what happened and then the thing. So now it is the district assembly and then the RCC if they can look at other source of funding because JICA is not ready to put in any more funding again. Hmm. JICA told me right in my face that actually in me as a district, I don't have an office. And then other five, we don't have a, a district health a, a, a district health directory. When I, I requested, I prompted, they told me that yes, they can they can support, but until those structures are put in place, mm. we can't come for any form of support. True. So it's now left with the district assembly and then the RCC to look at what sort of fund the source of funding they can get to put the place into shape. If the place okay. is being put into shape and then provide the equipment that have been uh, taken, mm. provide light and water to the place. It is my duty to provide the staff, the technical staff, and okay. all the relevant staff that we need to offer okay. the service to, to the people. I, I said to that was people. my, I said that was my final question, but this is actually the final one. I want to find out from you. Give us a clear idea how this situation is affecting healthcare delivery in uh, in this district. Yes, um, the, no, the the place uh, now uh, now Bumpurugu find itself in northeast region. And uh, even when it was even part of northern region, it is one of the deprived, the most deprived districts you can talk of in the northern region. Mm -hmm. And even in northeast, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's about the, the worst or the, the most deprived district even still in northeast. Yeah. And then we are getting, we don't have a, a, a such a facility. And this was a specialist, it was uh, named maternity block. So it was like a special, a special uh, uh, department that was built mm -hmm. to take care of maternal and child health alone. And in terms of my women going to delivery, ANC and other things, this is a project that was coming to support our mothers going to delivery and other things. Mm. Uh, we get maternal deaths. People travel from long distances. They have to go, go to Bindi and then a faith clinic. And then sometimes uh, Nalirugu referrals and other things. So if this uh, project was there, and then we have mm -hmm. the skilled uh, 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 manpower in terms of the health delivery, I think that you have supported our uh, mothers in these rural areas, moving distances, uh, motor kings, transporting pregnant women, women in labor to Nalirgo, Bindi, and all these things. All right. this uh, frustration would have stopped. Yeah. So for me, it is it was a project that uh, if it had come, it would have done a very good uh, service to the people of uh, Bumpurugu and its area, but uh, right. it's unfortunate. But uh, we still think that if our stakeholders, our people that matters can run around and put things together, uh, it will help all of us. Thank you very much, sir. Um, this is a very a rather disturbing situation. You heard Awuni Mbabila, who is the health director for the Bumpurugu Nakwanduri um, uh, district there. I mean, how people can just take away uh, equipment that's be that belongs or that's supposed to take care of uh, maternity women in labor for example it beats imagination well as our correspondent reports uh, there are there are calls for investigations by the police and we're following that story we'll bring you the update as and when we have it